I've been joined here today by the one and only John Earl, who's synonymous with many, many homes throughout the Merriweather and Merriweather Heights region. So, good day, John. Thank you for your Thanks time. For you. nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. So, I feel honoured to be in company with John. Um, I, I bid heavily on a on a board that was broken by Mark Richards, and there was a John Earl painting on the back of it, and I couldn't put my hand down. So. Thank you for that. I hope you didn't pay too much, but it was, it was pretty nice as I remember anyway. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, could you give the viewers a bit of an insight, um, yeah, a bit of a breakdown on how you came about realising your, you know, your passion was art, I suppose? Right. Well, easy enough to do. Uh, it goes way back, of course, those kind of origins to, um, you know, really high school and beyond. And right after high school, I didn't have any real direction at all. But, uh, and my parents, God bless them, kind of would tend to push you into different things and they're always the things that you would, uh, you're just worst at as well, you know, a particular degree at university you were particularly bad at and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I chop and change around, you know, a lot of, a few false starts in those early years, but um, as soon as I kind of thought, uh, well, look, I'll make a few decisions on my own and, uh, I'm kind of interested in art and, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind being a high school art teacher type of thing um, in the end when you want to follow what your interests are. That was probably, um, you know, I had a bit of an interest there. So it just meant you went to art school, which all of a sudden felt right, you know, you're in the right place at the right time. And, you know, you, I, I really just, I think I only really came into my life properly at about that time when I was... 1976, I'm 21 years old and doing Master of Your Own Destiny and doing something you want to do. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm probably less involved in pushing my kids into different things, not that they would listen for half a second, but uh, you know, we all find our own direction, given a bit of freedom, I think. Yeah, and it's important if you're passionate and interested in the topic, I mean, it really doesn't feel like work in a lot of ways. I'm sure you're. <laughs> It's legendary, some of the things I hear about your artworks. That typically, how long could a painting take you? Or... Oh, you know, the detail thing, if that's what you mean, and it, most of my paintings are taking a lot of time, but it's just a purely kind of um, uh, natural, instinctive result in the way you work. I would really love not to do that. You know, a lot of my um, preferred you know, techniques I see in other people are really quick, simple, brief techniques. Um, but I just can't, you know, we all do what we're good at. I notice musicians aren't great at everything, but yeah. they'll be like good at bluegrass banjo, but maybe they're not good at opera or something, you know. So you tend to, um, uh, you know, just have your own strengths come to the fore, I think, and um, and, and work with that. Um, is a lot of it, we just want to promote um, influential people within the community that have done great things over the years. So. Um, you're very humble, so you probably think that um, we're popping your tyres up a little bit unnecessarily, oh, I suppose, but um, <laughs> you've, got, you've got some exhibitions coming up or oh, anything well, like that. How, yeah. how can people get apart? Um, well, you, you just happen to have come on a day when, you know, we're getting ready for an exhibition opens tomorrow with C Studios Gallery, the crossroad from Bank Corner, if people know where that is in Hunter Street. Um, yeah, just by coincidence. So I've got a lot of the work from this year going with a bunch of uh, nice... Any suggestions you'd have for up-and-coming artists that are trying to have a go in the industry? Or? Well, I'll probably have a go at something else. <laughs> no one's your competition, no. Mm. You know, creating some really strong uh, artwork, you know, and, you know, at the top levels, I guess, anyway. We'll put some show notes in relating to John's exhibition that he has coming up. So Yeah, and uh, of course the studio here on Glebe Road, my studio gallery is open uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, 12 to 5, okay. 026 Glebe Road. So yep. uh, johnearl.com, www.johnearl.com. Yeah. yeah. Earl with an E at the end of Earl. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Now we'll put all that information on the show at the end and... Once again, thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And, uh, we appreciate your company and everything you've done for Merriweather and uh, Newcastle in general over the years. Okay. Good stuff. Mm. Thank you.